This question is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your WordPress questions or tasks on demand. And you want to track the errors. So navigate to your back end. So essentially navigate to your web host and then log in. So here is the back end of the website. Click on the website and then go into File Manager. Inside of File Manager, click on Public HTML. Inside of Public HTML, you want to scroll down until you find this file called WP Config, and then you want to click the Edit button to open it up. And once you open it, it'll look something like this. Um, I'm not showing the first few lines, so see it starts from 57. So make sure you scroll down all the way to where you see the line where it says define WP underscore debug is false. And then you can head over to this website uh, where it talks about how to use WordPress logs to track errors. And down here, you'll notice that it gives you a bit of code to copy into your WP config. So you can copy this bit of code and click back into WP config. And here where it says uh, WP under, define WP underscore debug, you can open a few lines underneath and paste the code you just copied. Now you'll notice that the only difference between this code and this code is that for the bottom code, the, the false has been changed to true for WP underscore debug. And also there's the extra line called WP underscore debug log, and that's true. So what you want to do is you want to copy this line from the bottom up to the top here. And then you want to change these curly braces to regular braces. And you also want to change the false to true. So essentially you want your code here to match the code you copied. And you can delete the code you copied. Now, click Save Changes. So once you click Save Changes, now the logs will start tracking errors. And back in your file manager, navigate into WP Content. Inside of WP Content, right now you don't see a debug file anywhere, but it will show up pretty soon. So here in the front end of the website, just click around in a few different places and then we will revisit the we will revisit this file manager. So I'm going to click on projects and I'm going to click on blog. Okay, so I've just I've just clicked around and now when I go up a level and go back to wp-content, you'll notice there now is a debug.log. So here is where the here is where the errors are tracked. So if you edit the debug log, you'll notice that earlier I clicked around in two areas. I clicked on projects as well as blog, and you'll notice that here two errors have appeared. And they've been recorded at different times. And they both have the error called OB and flush failed to send buffer. Um, so they both have the same error. So that is how you use WordPress access logs to track errors.